Hello everyone, it is Linda J. Engel and today I'm back with part 8 in the series I'm doing which is the countdown of my personal top 100 favorite boys and girl names and today I'm going to be talking about names 30 through 21 and two things quick in the description box below I have a playlist of the previous seven videos so you might go ahead and watch those first if you haven't seen them and I did not include my, include my own children's names in this, I have four children, two boys and two girls. So I'm going to go ahead and get started at number 30. I have the names Frederick and Senya. Frederick is an English name that means peaceful ruler. This is a family name for me. My grandma's maiden name, my paternal grandma, was Frederickson. And she's actually always gone by Fred her whole life, even though her birth name was Lois Frederickson. And so it's definitely a name I associate with her. I just think this name is so, so, so handsome and classic. And unfortunately, I don't think I could use it because um, I plan on using another name to honor that same grandparent, so I'd, it would be kind of weird to doubly honor the same person. But this is the name I did include in a video I made earlier this year of 10 names that I love but can't use. This is a name that has always been a top 1,000 boy name, it was a top 100 name through 1957, and is now ranked at 517. Senya is a Greek name that means stranger. This is a name that has a few different legitimate pronunciations. I really like this one because there was a singer on the show The Voice in the first season named Senya, and I really liked her, and this is basically the Spanish pronunciation of it, and I do have Spanish-speaking people in my family, and I currently have the combination Harriet Senya in my girl combos. I think it's so lovely. At 29, I have the names Kenya and Jane. Kenya is a name that possibly means white mountain and possibly means artist. It depends on where you look at the meanings and what language you look at. I think Ken would be a super sweet accessible nickname option for Kenya and I am really loving a lot of names that begin in the Ken sound right now and I particularly love the artist meaning. Unfortunately I've never got my husband to like this name otherwise I could absolutely name a little son Kenya. This was a top 1000 boy name just from 1970 through 1978. Jane is an English feminine form of the name John which, mean, which means grace of God. This is a name I definitely associate with Jane Austen and also her Pride and Prejudice book where there is a Jane Bennett in it. This is a name that my dad actually calls me sometimes. My middle name is Jay, my first name is Elena, and he calls me Jane Elena or just Jane sometimes. And unfortunately, my husband has a cousin, somewhat distant cousin, but we do see her usually at least every year named Jane, and so I think a lot of our family would assume it's after her, and that'd be kind of weird, so I don't think we'd ever use it, but I absolutely adore this name, and my husband likes it as well. This has always been within the top 500 girl names. It was a top 100 name through 1965, and is now ranked at 288 and rising in popularity. At number 28, I have the names Langston and Yoheved. Langston is an English name that means long stone. This is a name I mainly just really love for the sound. I love the sound of Langston for some reason so much. This first came on my radar after watching the show CSI. I used to watch it pretty regularly up until a few years ago, where there was a character named Langston, and the actor who played that character actually has a son named Langston in real life, so I think that's really cool. This first entered the top 1,000 boy names in 2013 and is now ranked at 691 and rising. Unfortunately, I can never use this name because I have a son named Hugh, and you couldn't have brothers named Langston and Hugh in the U.S., unfortunately. Yohebed is a Hebrew name that means God is glory. I absolutely love that meaning. This is the name of the biblical mother of Moses, and I definitely associate it with the prince of Egypt, and the character Yohebed has this beautiful solo in Hebrew that I love so, so, so much. This is a name I totally wish I could use because names beginning in J-O are basically all family names for me, um, but my husband unfortunately doesn't like this name because of the pronunciation issues, but I absolutely adore this name, and believe it or not, um, my parents have told me my whole life since my middle name is just the letter J that I could choose a J name for my own middle name, and I don't know if I'll ever do it, but currently my top choice for a middle name that starts with a J is Yoheved for myself. At number 27, I have the names Ibsen and Louisa. Ibsen is an English name that comes from the Hebrew meaning bright or white or fair. This is the name of a biblical judge in the book of Judges, and this is a name I currently have in my top combos as Ibsen Thaddeus. I never was really in love with any I boy names, I just kind of liked a few. Um, but as soon as I discovered Ibsen, it was the only boy I name that I instantly fell in love with. And I love how rare it is, but how easy it is to spell and pronounce. Louisa is a feminine form of Louis, which means famous warrior. I love the antique, sweet feminine feel it has. I absolutely adore the Sound of Music Association. Louisa is one of the seven Von Trapp children from the Sound of Music. My grandma that I mentioned earlier, her birth name was Lois, and so Louisa could be after her as well. 
but that's actually the reason we don't plan on using Louisa because we have a different name that we plan on using to honor her. This was the top 1000 girl name through 1969, re-entered in 2014, and is now ranked at 908. At number 26, I have the names Jason and Mahetabel. Jason is an English name that comes from the Greek meaning physician. I really like that. My dad's name is Jason, and so I have a soft spot for this name, but I absolutely adore the sound of it as well. And like I mentioned earlier, I do like a, like a lot of boy names ending in S-O-N. This is a biblical name. It is a myth logical name. This name is pretty popular unfortunately right now and has been popular for quite a while. This has always been a top 1000 boy name, has been a top 100 boy name since 1966, and was actually a top 10 boy name in the US from 1971 through 1983. Its current ranking is 86. I would still absolutely use this as a middle name for a boy, but my husband has a first cousin named Jason, so I don't think we'll ever end up using it, but I do love this name. Mahetabel is an English name that comes from the Hebrew meaning made happy by God. Absolutely beautiful meaning. This is the name of an Old Testament queen. This is a name that I really liked after reading a story about a little doll named Mehetabal with the nickname Hetty, and it is a very puritanical name. It is a name that I could absolutely use in a heartbeat if I can get my husband to like it and if it worked with my last name. But I think it is so beautiful, and I think it makes a great Isabel alternative, and I would definitely love to see it discovered by namers in the U.S. At number 25, I have the names Maxon and Posey. Maxon is a Welsh name that means greatest, and I think it makes a great Max and Jackson alternative, and I love that Mac could be a nickname for it. I think that is so cute. I think the meaning is awesome. The only thing keeping me from using this name is, again, my husband, who does not like it, unfortunately. Posey is an English name that means bouquet. I absolutely love that so much. I really fell in love with this name after watching the film Ballet. She is about three little orphans named Pauline, Petrova, and Posey. This is a name that I probably wouldn't be able to use because I love too many flower names, but I really can't use because it again clashes with my last name, Posey Engel. I do have two other girl names in my top 100 girl list that could possibly have the nickname Posey though, so hopefully someday I might be able to use one of those names. At number 24, I have the names Karsten and Temperance. Karsten is a German name that means Christian. I think it makes a great Carson and Christian alternative, which are both popular names, but unfortunately I have two cousins named Carson and one cousin named Christian, so I don't think I could ever use Karsten because of that. I think it would be very confusing to have all in the same family. But this is a name I've loved for a long time, and I even wrote a short story in high school where the lead character's love interest was named Karsten. I think it's so handsome and I would love to see other people use this name. Temperance is an English name that means self-control. This is a name that first came on my radar after watching the show Bones where the lead character is named Temperance Brennan. I watched that show for several years. I don't watch it anymore, but that is a good association for me. It is a name that goes in and out of our top girl combos, usually as a middle name, and we do currently have it in our top girl combos as Estella Temperance. I do have friends that like this name as well, and so I think that there's it will likely get used by someone else before we can use it, but either way, I think it is so lovely and was actually a top 1,000 girl name from 2011 through 2014, but it's not currently ranked in the top 1,000 girl names. At 23, I have the names Stellan and Lenora. Stellan is a Norse name that means calm, great meaning for a little baby. There is an actor named Stellan Starsgard. That's probably where you've seen this name, but this is a name I really, really just love for the sound and look. I think it is crazy handsome. I just wish I could get my husband to like it. Lenora is a feminine form of Helen, which means shining light, and shining light is actually the name, meaning of my name as well. I absolutely adore the antique Victorian feel this name has, and this is a name that could kind of be after me, but it could definitely be after my husband's grandma. Her name is Nora Lee, and Lenora is kind of Nora Lee switched around. We do currently have the combination Hope Lenora in our top girl combos, and we've had it in our top combos for quite a while now. I would absolutely love to have a little girl with that name. This was a top 1000 girl name through 1975, and it's not currently in the top 1,000 girl names. At number 22, I have the names August and Vera. August is an English name that means venerable. It's a name I definitely associate with the film August Rush. It's one of my all-time favorite films. I also love that August is a summer month because summer is my favorite season. I love when it's too hot. I'm, I know I'm crazy, but this is definitely an old-fashioned name, and I definitely love the feel of old-fashioned names for sure. This has always been a top 1,000 boy name and is now ranked at 195, and we do have the combo August Jameson in our top boy combos right now. Vera is a Latin name that means truth and it is a Russian name that means faith. Two absolutely wonderful meanings. I absolutely love the sound and meaning of this name so much and this is currently in my top combos as Vera Lilius or Lilius Vera. We kind of go back and forth which we like better. This was the top 100 name through 1929 and left the top 1000 in 1983 
re-entered in 2009 and is now ranked at 312. I love that it's being used. I think it's an absolutely perfect name. And last at number 21, I have the names Emrys and June. Emrys is the Welsh form of Ambrose, which means immortal. This is another name I mainly just love for the sound. It just has a really cool looking sound to me, and I absolutely adore Welsh names, and my husband absolutely hates Welsh names, which is so tragic to me. It is a name I could absolutely have in my top boy combos if I could ever get him to like it, and yeah. I would love to see the name Emrys used more. June is an English month name and it comes from the Latin meaning youth. This is a name that goes in and out of our top girl combos, but um, I don't think we'd ever use it because my older son's name is Theron Jude. I do use his middle name a lot and I think it would be confusing to have people named Jude and June in the same house. But I did have a little June in a daycare I worked at three years ago and she was definitely a good association for me. She was super adorable. That is it for this video. Please let me know in the comments below what your favorites of these names were and I'm looking forward to these last two videos where you get to hear my all-time favorite boys and girl names. Thank you for watching. Bye!